Hi everybody, I'm Jen with OpenSource.com and I have a brand new top five articles of the week for you for the week of July 22nd. At number five, five tricks for getting started with Vim. Jason Baker, a writer and editor for OpenSource.com, spends an awful lot of time editing text. What tool does he use to get the job done? Well, he recently decided to finally learn Vim. In this article, he shares five things that help him do just that. At number four, Vim or Emacs, which text editor do you prefer? In this poll with over 500 votes, Jason Baker asks, which text editor you prefer, Vim or Emacs? Both have strong followings and of course, uh, plenty of people use something else entirely. At number three, learn an instrument with this open source music teacher. Nootka is an open source Android app. How it works is you play the notes being displayed by the app and it will tell you in real time if you're playing them correctly. There's also exercises and exams to help you learn and though it's geared for guitar players, our author Tomaz tells us that you can use it for any instrument. At number two, an open source toolkit for building your own home. The Open Building Institute is the brainchild of Katarina Moda of Open Materials and Marcin Jububowski of Open Source Ecology. The toolkit includes a library of modular designs, detailed instructions, and software for building a whole, a whole house with just a few friends. And finally, at number one, hands-on with the Linux-ready Dell XPS 13 Developer Edition. Anderson Silva gets a brand new laptop, the XPS Dell 13 Developer Edition, and he tells us why it's a great machine for Linux. That's it for the top five this week. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.